Hey friends, this is Mrs. Ashley and I'm so excited to talk to you today about our place value concepts we've learned in class for third grade. Let's get started. Okay, here I've just made um, just a basic place value chart uh, to show the place values we've learned. As we know, this uh, area here in a number, this is the units period. Um, this is what you've already known. We've got uh, the ones place down here on the end, the tens place, and the hundreds place. Now, when you move over to the left, these numbers are the thousands period. And um, they still have ones, tens, and hundreds, but since it's in the thousands period, this one is the one thousands. This is the ten thousands, and this is the hundred thousands. So um, this is really all you need to know. If I put in a number, whenever I'm reading a number, I look at each period first. So the first thing I do is I read the thousands period, 136. Then the comma tells me to say the word thousand. Then I read the ones or units period and it says 281. So when I put it together to say the word, I say 136,281. Notice I did not say the word and when I pronounce my number. We don't say the word and and we'll learn more about that in fourth grade. So again, this is 136 thousand two hundred eighty one now some people um, can make a place value chart like this I first started with a rectangle and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and divide it in half that way I have my thousands period and my ones period then remember in the thousands period I need three sections so I'll just make the two lines here and in the ones period, I need two sections. So as you can see here, I have six columns uh, for my place value chart. And remember, this was the ones, tens, hundreds. Then we have the one thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. This is really helpful also if you need to write several numbers to compare them. You can just uh, fill in the digits down here. So let's say 35,698. You'll notice I have each number lined up with the correct place value. So this type of chart is very helpful to use when solving place value problems. Uh, let's look at our different uh, word, word expanded and uh, standard forms. First of all, the standard form of any number is simply the digits written out uh, like you would see in a normal number. This number here is 35,698. This is the standard form. Let's also try to put this into expanded form. Expanded form is how we show the value of each digit in the number. For instance, let's look at this 3. The value of the 3 is not 3. It is actually worth 30,000. Now let's look at the 5. It is worth 5,000 because it's in the 1,000th place. Next, let's take a look at the 6. It's worth 600 because it's in the hundreds place. Next comes the 9. It's in the tens place, so it's worth 90. And last but not least, the ones place, 8, is simply worth 8. When we put something in expanded form, we're basically just showing it as an addition problem. It is all the values added together to form the number. So I would write this one as 30,000 plus 5,000 plus 600 plus 90 plus 8. That would be the expanded form of 35,698. 
I also like to think about my place value blocks and how I would build up the number, showing each digit's value. Another way that we show numbers is through their word form. This is simply writing out in words what you would say when you read the number. So remember, we start with the thousands period, and this part says 35. So we write out 35. Next, when we see the comma, that tells us to say the word thousand. And last but not least, we then look at the units period and write it as we say it, 698. When we put it all together, it should sound just like we read the number, 35,698. I like to go back and compare it to the number and make sure I did everything in the exact order. Next, let's look at expanded notation. Expanded notation is quite similar to expanded form. Again, we're just showing the value of every digit, but this time we show it through multiplication. Let's look, first look at the three. That's actually three in the 10 thousandths place. So I can write that by saying three times 10,000 because it's in the 10 thousandths place. Next, I'm going to move on to this 5, which is actually 5,000. It is a 5, and it is in the 1,000s place. Next, I'm going to move on to the next digit. This 6 here is in the 100s place. So I write it as 6 times 100, because it is a 6 in the 100s place. Next, I move on to the following digit, the 9, which is in the tens place, and it is 9 in the tens place. And last but not least, I look at the ones place, and it is an 8 in the ones place. This ends up showing the exact same information that you get from expanded form, but this simply shows uh, the digit and its place. Last but not least, I want to remind you of place value relationships. As you can see in this number, 71,160, I have two numbers that are side by side that are the same digit. The one in the hundreds place is worth 100. It has a value of 100. The one in the thousands place has a value of 1,000. What I want you to remember is that when you have two digits side by side, the digit to the left is 10 times greater than the digit to the right. This would be the same, to give you another example, if you had 776 in this number, the 7 in the tens place has a value of 70. The 7 in the hundreds place has a value of 700. So we can say that the 7 in the hundreds place is 10 times the value of the 7 in the tens place. This is uh, just demonstrating the relationship uh, in our base 10 number system. I hope you enjoyed reviewing our place value concept. You're doing a great job. Remember, you can always take a dice or a spinner or number cards and make you out a number and practice the different forms of the number. This is great practice at home. So I hope you enjoy. Keep up the good work. Bye.